everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel today we are going to review and uh, create a makeup look with my new palette from Morphe and this is the new 3502 now I don't own any other palettes from Morphe except the Jaclyn Hill palette that I love and use all the time so I'm very curious to see how this is going to perform on my eyes now I heard so many great things about this palette and uh, I haven't even swatched it. I did open it and watch, looked at the shadows, but I didn't swatch them. So if you want to see what makeup look I'm going to create, please keep on watching. Okay, the packaging feels very nice. I love this black. So it's black, it's plastic, it says eyeshadow palettes on the back side and let's open it and here are the shades i would love if there was a mirror in here but i don't think any eyeshadow from our morphe has a mirror so this is nothing new to the morphe and we have this plastic over the eyeshadows with the names of the eyeshadows here and here are the shades they are very beautiful now the fr my first reaction my first reaction was that there are so many brown shades and many of the eyeshadow palettes from Mor Morphe has so many brown shades so I don't think that's if there's any dupes or the same eyeshadows in other palettes but it looks nice and a very nice palette now very nice shades I'm going to swatch a couple of these I'm not going to swatch all of them because there are so many shades but and there are so many videos out there with the full swatches but I'm going to uh, kind of um, swatch a couple of these. The shades are not uh, the same. I think these two look very similar but the undertone is kind of different. This is more cold and this is more warm undertone. These look, let me swatch these first. Oh they feel soft. These look very similar to each other so let's swatch them and see. as you can see they are not similar but they look similar in the pan so yeah let's watch one of these shades here too. beautiful very pigmented though the pigmentation reminds me of Jaclyn Hill palette but I can't really say if it's similar to the other Morphe palettes because I don't own other Morphe palettes but I heard that this is kind of like a new formula of the eyeshadows I hope I'm right. I don't say that wrong, but I heard another video of this palette. Definitely going to create a makeup look. So uh, let's zoom you in, guys, and start with the makeup look. I'm not sure really what I'm going to create, but I'm going to start with this universal shade that's called Universal up here and blend that all over my crease. And I'm actually going to use a blending brush. I already have my eyeshadow primer on. Now when I have my transition shade, I'm going to go into this shade called Orb and the third shade here in this palette, this one, this here. So far so good, these shades are blending beautifully. I don't see any fallout, but I already have my makeup on and I think I'm going to go into this shade here it's called spice this one I have to say these eyeshadows are beautiful they blend very easy so this palette it looks good for beginners would be easy for them to use this say down I don't see myself as a beginner I can I've been over a year on YouTube and playing a lot with different eyeshadows I'm going to to take that blending brush again and blend then I'm going to take this blending brush number seven from uh, BH Cosmetics and I think I'm going to go into hmm 
think I'm going to go into this and this is called so no stone this shade called stone beautiful shade For some reason, always when I do my makeup, this eye turns out much better than this one. I don't know if that's only me, but I'm going to take that first shade Universal again and try to blend these together. I want to deep up a little bit more of this, this crease, so I'm going to go into this black width. This is very black and very pigmented. So I'm taking this stone shade all over my eyelids and I can say it works beautiful with a finger. You didn't apply it at all with a brush. So, and I didn't wet the brush, so maybe that will work, but I prefer using my fingers for these kind of shades. Now, I see that there is no highlighting shade in this palette, so that's a minus. But otherwise, this palette is beautiful. I'm going to take this one that I had black on and just blend a little bit the edges here so they blend together I'm going to take this uh, 232 classic shade brush from Zoeva and I'm going to, to going to take that universal shade then I'm going to take this brush again and I think I'm going to go into this stone shade and then I'm going to take that width, the black one I'm going to take this brush, I don't know the name of the blush but you can use a brush that you, so you can blend all the shades down here So I'm taking this palette from Anastasia and taking this cheek shade in the same here. And I'm going to take detailed brush and take that under my eyebrows just a little bit. Then I'm going to create a thin eyeliner with this uh, Steve Laurent precision tip liner so what happened while I was applying my eyeliner I sneezed a little bit so I got my eyeliner a little bit higher there is a so it doesn't look perfect but Let's move on. And then I'm going to put um, these eyelashes on. This is uh, Demi Wisp from Adele. And I'm going to put them on. These are like perfect size for my eyes. I don't need to cut them. I don't need to do anything they are so easy to apply take them like this done mascara on so guys this is the final makeup makeup look now I did film a couple of other videos after doing this makeup look so I had this makeup look for an hour now and I did film a blush palette and lipstick palette reviews so I wanted to split this video in shorter videos because you may be interested to see the review of this palette but, may not, but maybe not the others so please let me know down below how you want me to do my videos in the future do you want me to kind of do a couple of reviews on a couple of products in the same video or split them like I do always do 
and yeah back to this palette i really like this palette now the shades that i tried are very nice very easy to blend very easy to build up now when i first lo looked at this palette i thought the shades were very similar to each other the brown shades but i can actually see now why after using them they are not the same shades they are different the undertones are different but uh, right now the shades that i used are very nice and very easy to blend and build up it kind of reminds me of Jacqueline Hill palette uh, so this is more neutral shade and I'm very excited that I got this palette very nice very beautiful palette of course I miss a mirror I would love if there was a mirror but of course you can't get everything and I'm going to keep this plastic because it has the named eyeshadows I really need that when I do my videos makeup looks but this is the final look I'm sorry, my children are playing in the room next to this one and it sounds very loud. I'm so sorry for that. But I actually really love this palette and uh, the look. Now, there is a shade too that I miss. I miss like a matte highlighting shade that I can use all over my eyelid before I apply and under my eyebrows before any other shade. And then I miss like a champagne color so I can pop something here and under my eyebrows. So that would be amazing if some of the darker brown shade could replace, replace that. But overall, it's a very nice palette and beautiful. So I'm excited to try another Morphe palette and not a really a Morphe palette. So that was, yeah, nice. That was everything I had for you today. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.